Good evening, everyone. I want us to briefly look at the topic courtship behavior in animals. What is courtship? Courtship is when two organisms tries to pair up in order to satisfy their sexual desires or to reproduce new organisms. They have to do what is first of all called courtship before they can do it. Courtship is a collection of some behavior that are unique to each species that leads up and enables animal to have successful sex union. Courtship helps to strengthen pair bonds that may last through rising of the young. It's mostly in beds. If you have your local fowls around, you will know how the male ones chases the female and some kind of behavior they ex exhibit when they want to have sex union. That is what is called courtship. There are different types of courtship. We have pairing, we have territorial, territorialism, we have seasonal migration, we have display. Many animals exhibit pairing. Something like fishes, termites, humans, they pair. That's the, the adult male who select a matured female that it wants to reproduce with and they will leave the, that particular habitat there where others are and isolate themselves to a particular place and stay there in their own colony. Something like termites, they do it very well. The adult ones will select the adult female and they will go and form their own place. They'll, they'll go to a new place to make their own children. So that is what is called pairing. And those females, they normally release liquid, scanty hormone called pheromone. We mentioned it when we were talking about reproduction in insects, especially mosquito and cockroaches. We said that they release this pheromone. So pheromone that is being released by females to show that they are interested and they are ready for reproduction. Then the available males will pick them up for pairing. Then the second one is territorialism or you call it territoriality. In this one, the animals lay claim and defend an area against others of each species and sometimes members of other species. Something like Agama lizard, this territorial spirit, they will just occupy a particular place and they will not allow particular Agama lizard, especially the adult ones, will not allow any other adult lizard to come to that place and stay. That particular habitat, it will stay there it will only allow the female and the younger lizards to come in. But once it's an, another Akama lizard, it will not allow it. If that one insists on staying there, two of them will start fighting and start competing. So we are talking about territorialism. It's all about when an adult animal establishes a particular territory, occupies it, claims it and defends it against other animals, especially of the same species. It is known as territorialism. They have to do it with any other adult agama lizard, for example, when you're talking about lizards. Human beings also exhibit territorialism, especially those in Igbo land, in order to save their homes. They will not allow any other matured male to come and live in their house is a form of territorialism. 
out of jealousy. Do not want to display. Some animals carry out courtship exhibition called display. They are designed to show their interest in mating. Some use their color, some the way they cry, some seductive walking, some their perfume, some facial expression, and so on and so forth. They use it as a kind of display to show if there is any, if the opposite sex is interested in cutting with them. So something like, uh, we have some examples, as you can see on the screen. Goats. The he goat is the she goat, hotly, and makes particular noise. Lizards, in their natural habitat, the female curves its back and rises up its tail. And then the males make their tails, not their heads, to show off their bright colors. That's the color of their gola folder. The females could be attracted by this display. Then the cricket, cricket, cricket attracts the female by making shrill noise with their outer wings. The birds, the birds have different ways of display, either in dancing, in singing, feeding, building nests, and so on and so forth. Some even display their beautiful feathers and body. Then fireflies, the male ones, flashes light to the female, and then the female in return to show if she's interested or not, also flashes its own special light for that. So that's display. The last but not the least is seasonal migration. These are seasonal movements of animals in response to unfavorable climatic condition, food availability, and also to ensure reproduction. Animals migrate to other places from one habitat to another in order to feel free to reproduce or to get enough food or to from one climatic unfavorable change or the other. Something like freshwater eel. They migrate when they want to reproduce. They migrate from America to and Great Britain to other places in order to reproduce. But after reproduction, it will take a year or two for the young ones, that's the new ones, to go back to America. So they migrate in order to reproduce. It's a kind of courtship behavior in animal. With this, we have come to the end of this lesson. Remember today we talked about courtship behavior in animals. How the animals behave on to court. We have seen pairing, we looked at territorialism, we looked at at seasonal mi migration and we looked at display. There are different methods, there are different behaviors animals beat when they want to cut. Thank you very much for listening. See you in the next episode. Bye.